Hello everyone, this is Ulfrikau and today I'm going to talk about the patch notes from uh, the 14th of November. In the background I will have some gameplay from my favorite map so far, that is Parasol Storm, Stormbreaker, Siege of Shanghai and Savod. They're all great maps and I really enjoy them a lot. So let's get started with the patch notes. Today's patch is actually the first client side patch we had since the launch of Battlefield 4 and uh, DICE has said that this patch aims at resolving three major issues that we all been experienced so far. Now I'm guessing that more patches will come and it's not gonna be a perfect game just yet uh, but I really hope that uh, some of the things are going to improve greatly. So the first thing that this patch is supposed to do is to solve a large portion of the most commonly occurring game crashes. And for my part it's the server crashes that really sucks. You lose all your progress and uh, you have to start over and uh, leveling up from the beginning again. I'm sure it happened to you all, you got a new gun or a new attachment and then the server crash and uh, you have to do it all over again. Uh, on some maps with a large ticket count that's just appalling and you really hate when it happens. So I really hope that this patch will manage to solve a large portion of the game crashes as DICE says. Now the second thing in the patch is uh, that it's supposed to eliminate a network sync bug. I'm guessing that this is actually a big part in what we uh, usually call the netcode. Uh, I know that uh, some of you, or uh, probably most of you, has been killed through walls and stuff, and uh, that's part of the netcode issue. And uh, I know that DICE is working on it, probably a lot more than they say, and I'm guessing that DICE needs to uh, move some of the server side mechanics to the client side. That will make the game more like Battlefield 3. And the reason that they put so much on the server side for Battlefield 4 was uh, to uh, make the game better. Unfortunately it doesn't really work because the server has to send the signal both to your computer and to your opponent's computer. And that's also part to why you get so many uh, dual kills or whatever you want to call it. when. Uh, you get killed at the same time as the opponent. Uh, the server side uh, just isn't fast enough to uh, communicate the signal both to your computer and to the opponent and you both die. So uh, this is probably step one of uh, moving the netcode back to the client side and uh, hopefully we will be having a better netcode, much more like Battlefield 3 in uh, not too long time. Now the third and last thing about today's patch is that it's supposed to improve the network smoothing factor. In your settings and options gameplay menu there is a network smoothing slider that uh, governs a group of settings that aim to produce a type of multiplayer experience based on your specific packet loss situation. Now that's a mouthful. What you can do basically is that if you are having problems with players jumping around erratic, almost like lagging and rubber banding, you can change the, this network smoothing slider and uh, it affects how uh, you uh, see players and stuff in game. Uh, the downside to this is that if you reduce it too much you get uh, lots of weird graphics glitches in the game. So um, DICE has improved this uh, functionality but there will still be a breakpoint for you uh, while using this slider. So uh, my tip to you is to uh, try it out. Put it on low as as in uh, zero and uh, see what happens and then increase it bit by bit until you get the graphics glitches. It's hard to explain exactly what it does but uh, I suggest that you try it out. 
uh, when it works you will know it so that's it for the patch notes of uh, November 14th I hope you enjoyed my uh, little gameplay and uh, my thoughts and uh, my way of trying to explain the notes for you and uh, also I would like to end by uh, recommending you to watch Level Cap's uh, video about what he thinks is needed in uh, Battlefield 4 to make it an even better game and uh, one thing that I've been thinking about a lot since the game launched is that I really 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 want the spawn invulnerability back because as it is now it's so so often that you get killed right when you spawn because you really don't see on the on the spawn screen um, you really don't see the enemies you can see a player running around and you think it's safe to spawn there but as soon as you spawn you die insta die and it's annoying as hell so i would much rather have like in battlefield 3 uh, that you are unable to kill someone who just spawned in because you can learn to not shoot him or her the first two seconds uh, but you can't really do anything about spawning in and dying instantly and the downside the thing you can do is of course spawn at your uh, base but then you have to run like but then you have to run forever to even get to the fight so I really hope that DICE gives us back some spawn invulnerability now it hasn't now I really don't think it has to be as long as it was in Battlefield 3 I think it was almost 2 seconds but you have to think about that once you spawn in game you actually don't see anything on the screen until like half a second or even a second after you actually spawn so right there the enemy has potentially seen you for already one second before your screen actually shows you where you are uh, and then you need probably at least half a second more of spawning vulnerability uh, well that's what I hope for and uh, please feel free to leave a comment if you uh, think something else or if you think something else is needed to make Battlefield 4 an even better game uh, I will do what I can to uh, influence I will do what I can to make this a better game and I hope you all and I hope you all want to help out as well so please uh, give me a thumbs up if you like the video and uh, subscribe to my channel to see more Battlefield 4 gameplay and I will uh, continue to have discussions like this and uh, also some hardware reviews because those seem to be very popular uh, so this is it for this time I hope to see you on the battlefield soon and this is Ultra Cow signing off